Hi there, welcome to my channel. I hope you all had a very good Christmas and New Year. For my first tutorial of 2020, I chose to create this abstract vector particles background in Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's get started. We'll start with a new composition. You can make a new composition by going to File, Choose New, and as always I've chosen for the 1920 1080. I already made a new composition because I searched for some colors I thought would be nice to use. It's always trying out. I got these colors from Coolers. It's a very nice website where you can find new colors, color schemes, matching colors. It's uh, very easy to use. I will put the link in the description down below. So now we'll take the rectangle tool and we'll make a rectangle the size of our artboard. Then we will choose the gradient, gradient tool. If you don't see this gradient window, you can go to window and then select gradient. So for the gradient, I'm going with something dark blue. So the left gradient will be a bit lighter and the right one a darker blue. If you then select the gradient tool again, you can draw the gradient the way you would want it. You can move this middle point if you would like to adjust the gradient also. I think something like this should be fine. Now we're going to take the ellipse tool, which is underneath the gradient tool, and we're going to make a circle. Press Alt and Shift, or uh, Option Shift, at the same time, so you make an even circle, and we'll make it around 550 pixels. And we'll give it a white stroke. Let's see the stroke. We'll make about a half a point. And then with the circle still selected, go to edit, copy, and then edit, paste in front. And now we're going to make this one smaller, so keep the shift key and the ALT key pressed together and make the new circle around 360 pixels. Now select both circles. And in the stroke window we'll take half point and choose the rounded cap and choose dashed line and for the dashed line we will make all the options two points so if you zoom in and you see what that did I think the weight of the stroke can be Point twenty-five looks a bit better. Now we're going to select both circles and make a copy so we can use it later on. Now select the small circle and give it some sort of a greenish color, stroke color. And the big circle will also give a greenish color, but a bit different color than the small one. Now select both circles again, and go to Object, Blend, Make, and then go to Object again, 
blend and choose blend options. Here we're going to choose the specified steps and around I think 50 should be okay. Now we're going to change the size of the circles first. I just selected my background and I'm going to lock it so I don't move it around. And now I'm going to select the direct selection tool and click on the bigger circle. And here you can move the parts to make different shapes. Okay, now we've changed the circles around a bit. We can change it some more later and you can make it completely different than what I did. It's just something you like, just so play around with it a bit. It can take quite a while to find the, something you're happy with. So remember that we copied both circles before. We're going to paste them now. So go to edit and then paste in front. Now you have two circles. And we're going to do about the same thing like before. First I'm going to lock my other circles so I don't move them. And then I will select the smaller circle and give it some kind of um, orange color. And the big one I will also give an orange color but I will change it a bit. So if you change the color, which you already had in the swatches, you can, in the swatches menu, which if it isn't visible, you can find a window. Here you can say new swatch, and then you also have the color you just used. Now same again, select both circles, go to object, blend and make, and then again object blend, blend options and we're going to take the specified steps once more and take around 30 you can also change that later on if it it's not okay and just like before we're going to change the shapes so take the direct selection tool and play around with the anchor points Now we're going to paste the circles once more. First I'm going to lock my layer again. And then I'm going to edit, paste in front. Here we're also going to give some colors. Um, let's see, maybe a bright blue. And a less bright blue. And then again the same, select both circles. Go to object, blend, make, and object, blend, blend options, and here we're going to take smaller steps, of or little less steps, uh, maybe 20. Uh, 15 maybe. Okay. And then once more, play around with the circles. And when you found something you think you like, then we're going to select our last circle less circles we made and go to object arrange send to back and then once more object arrange bring forward now 
Now once more we're going to lock our layer or our uh, circles and make a new layer. On this new layer, layer we will make a new small circle. So hold down, I'm going to zoom in first, which you can do by pressing Alt and using your scroll wheel, or you can use the zoom option below, or use the zoom tool. Hold down Shift and create a small circle. This circle will also give a gradient. So in the gradient window, you can choose the orchid one. This is almost what we need, we just need to change the colors. So I will click on this one and make it bright green. And the other one will make white. And then we'll make it a radial gradient. So when you zoom in, you can see what you just made. And then we're going to drag the gradient a bit inward and adjust the color somewhat. When you're happy with your circle, select the circle, go to window, choose symbols. And in this new panel, drag your circle into it and this makes a new symbol and just press OK. Now we have a symbol, it's a nice circle and with this circle we're going to make some particles. So choose the symbol sprayer tool and spray around. So just move around the shape a bit. So as you can see, we now have all small dots. We're going to edit them events a bit. So select the symbol sizer tool. And here with Alt pressed, you can make them smaller. So press down the Alt or Option key while you're doing this. So as you can see, they're getting smaller already. And when you press Alt Shift, you're going to make smaller ones, new ones. So press Alt Shift or Option Shift and just go around your shape some more. If you just use the sizer tool without Alt or Option, you can make your particles bigger again. So also here, play around with it a bit. And there you got something you like. So don't forget Alt Option to make them smaller and just using the resizer, resizer tool to make them bigger again. And if you want more small ones, you can use all the option shift. So make a new layer and lock the previous two. And on this new layer, we're going to make a new circle. And I already have the color picked out. It's a yellowy color. So take your ellipse tool and pressing shift make a new circle this new circle will also going to give the gradient and then zoom in choose the gradient tool move it a bit add 
And when you're happy with it, we're going to make a new symbol out of this. So keep your symbol selected. Click on this option in the symbols window. Choose new symbol and then press OK. So now we have a green one and a yellow one. So with this new symbol selected, we're going to use the symbol sprayer tool again to add some particles. And then just as before, take the symbol sizer tool, use option shift or option to resize your particles. And option shift not to resize but to add more. And as you can see, we now have an abstract vector particle background. So you can play around with this. It's just finding what you like best. Changing the colors, changing location, changing everything you would like to change. So I'm going to play around with this a bit. Now to make this a bit more interesting, select your pen tool and make some sort of wavy shape. Then select both shapes and again go to object, blend, make. And for this one and the blend options, maybe take 40. Yeah, that should be okay. Now we're going to play around with our anchor points. If you want to move your canvas around without selecting the move tool every time, you can press the space bar and then you can move around. Okay, something like this. Select both hold your alt key and just drag them around to make a copy and now we're going to give it a more orangey color mm, something like this looks good and then once more take your symbol sprayer tool Select the symbol you would like to use and make some more symbols. And then check your entire work to see if you would like to change something. there you have it, our very first vector abstract shape. 
So let me know in the comments below if you like this, if you would like to see more of it, what you would do different or if you learned something new and are very happy to uh, try it. And for now, let's uh, wrap it up. You can play around with it some more, make something completely different. And I hope to see you in the next one.